So guys, uh, another little camping trip in the Yorkshire Dales National Park. Um, we've got a couple of nights away and we're at the end of October now, uh, just about to go into November. I'm actually camping with the little Robins Elf River One, uh, which is the one person tent. There is a review on that tent. Uh, I haven't used it much through the summer because I've used the uh, other tents I've got, uh, but it's a good tent for uh, autumn winter camping. Anyway, I've actually gone and bought a tarp. And I've bought a tarp to go with the tent. Because it's a one-man tent uh, and it is quite compact, then obviously this autumnal winter weather, you're going to end up getting a bit wet, as I did last week. Not with this tent, though. However, what I've bought is a Robins wing tarp. So it's a Robins wing tarp. And the reason I bought this, because I, I do have other tarps, and I don't use tarps that often actually, but the reason I bought this is specifically to go with this tent. However, it will work with other tents that have got one-man tents, so that's a bonus. And the reason I bought this is that it's uh, a lightweight, uh, 0.68 of a kilogram, and that's with the pegs and guy lines and bag. Um, and the size is 37 by nine centimeters but to be honest with you guys it's an oversized bag for this tab but it's nice it just squeezes into next to nothing i mean you get it down to about that anyhow what I'm going to do is, because it's getting on a little bit now, the sun's going down, so I'm going to uh, get the tarp put up. Uh, I'll let you watch me put it up. It's the first time. Uh, I've not had the thing out of the bag, uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, and then I'll just talk you through the spec of it. It may not be tonight, but I will talk through the spec whilst uh, I'm camping. So let's see. So that's it, and that's uh, got the peg uh, bag inside there. Now I'm under a bit of pressure here because I've got uh, a couple of other guys camping who are pretty expert at putting their big tarp up, and uh, I'm going to be putting this, this up in front of them. So let's hope I get it right. Just quickly show you, the guy lines are pre-attached, and the cordage is uh, it's good quality. It's the same, the Robins tents are a decent quality. I've got the Voyager 2EX as well, the two-person tunnel tent. Uh, and that's a, that's a real crackerjack of a tent. I had that last week when I was camping last week. So you get these lightweight hooks, uh, aluminium, very, very light. Um, I guess if it was windy conditions, you'd want to use uh, some more robust pegs. And I always carry extra pegs with me just for that uh, purpose. The weather's not going to be bad tonight or tomorrow, so the duration here, I won't need any better pegs than, than these. So, let's get us, let's get this put up. Well that's it guys, it's uh, finally got up. Um, obviously when you're doing something for a first time, it takes a while just to figure out how you want to uh, set it up and how it sets up. Um, it's looking pretty good as it is now, but tomorrow, because we're losing light now, tomorrow I'll maybe have a little play around with it, see if I want to set it up slightly differently. But for now it's, uh, it's happy. Brilliant. It, it, the light's going. I need to get the inside of the tent sorted out. I need to get other things done. Um, so I'm not going to do any more filming now. But tomorrow I'll show you around the, the actual tarp in its uh, setup form and I'll give you the specs of it as well. Cool. Well, it's a bit chilly this morning. Not freezing, just wind chill. 
As it turned out, it was a very blustery, windy night and heavy rain last night. So the Robins wing tap really got its test. And in fact, it's still blustery this morning and every now and again the wind is catching it. However, after a very, very windy night, rain for most of the night, That has performed amazingly. And in truth, I've just used the standard pegs that came with the uh, tarp, which are a very lightweight, say, peg. If I'd realized it was gonna be so windy, um, I would have used different pegs. I'd have used more substantial ground pegs to, uh, to keep it tied down. However, the pegs worked. Even if I got another night where it was really windy, or it was forecast to be high winds, I would still use different pegs. The only thing I've done from uh, erecting it, when I went to bed, because the wind was starting to get up a little bit then and it was raining, I just lowered the front end of the tarp. So you can just see uh, the front end there is a bit lower than when I originally set it up. Not much, but a little bit. I've got to say, I'm really impressed. There, there is another tarp up on the campsite, and um, that's not in the uh, healthiest of states. It's still erect, but it's not. Uh, it needs to be completely re reset out again. Anyhow, let's have a little look at this tarp because you didn't get a close look up at it, and uh, I'll just give you a walk round and I'll tell you about it really amazed with it. So this wing tarp is uh, actually designed to go with the Robins uh, tent that you see in front of you. That's the Elk River One one person tent. Uh, and also um, designed to go with the Buck Creek Two, which is a two person version of this tent. And the material for the tarp is the same material as is used in the tents. So the material is uh, Hydrotex AWT and it's a 30 denier polyester uh, which is um, ripstop, uh, it's 335T ripstop. The inner of the uh, tarp is uh, PU siliconized and uh, gives you a waterproof uh, rating of 3000 uh, millimeter hydrostatic head. Also in the center of the inner of the tarp is this little sleeve. Uh, it's a little velcro uh, sleeve and that uh, is uh, I guess if you're going to put a rope through the center of the actual tarp or even if you have the tarp further set back on these uh, Robin's tents you can actually connect that through the exoskeleton frame but I wanted it to come further over the front rather than over the tent obviously to get the shelter but it would actually yeah, work that way and I will do that on another occasion just see how that is that'll hold it quite firmly so the tent comes with uh, eight guy lines already pre-attached and eight uh, very lightweight aluminium pegs. It doesn't come with a pole, you have to uh, buy a pole separately. The, the actual peg is that. Now these are very lightweight for backpacking uh, and 
as I mentioned earlier uh, I'd prefer using something a bit more substantial in heavier winds and indeed I did actually use a heavier duty one for the front fixing there and if I'd known it was going to be as windy I'd have, uh, <laughs> I'd have probably pegged it out with heavy duty pegs all the way around but uh, it was very windy, uh, it is still blustery and uh, these pegs have held up which sort of surprised me really now the rear guy line I've actually twisted round the exoskeleton pole all the way down and just actually attached it to the peg for the rear of the tent so I've just doubled up on there didn't know whether that would work but it has worked tremendously well that's given it uh, quite rigidity at the back but if you were pegging it out as per normal you'd have a pole there or you could take it to the ground even with this type of tarp so really you could have that uh, on the ground at the back and the higher end not as high obviously but uh, still uh, enough to sit under So I've shown you the bag size which was uh, 37 by 9 centimetres and uh, weight wise 0.68 of a kilogram and that's including the guy lines and the pegs. It has tape seams on the inside of the tarp um, and I've mentioned the 3000 hydrostatic head. So the size of the uh, tarp is uh, 3.2 metres in length. 2.8 meters in width at its widest point which is the front and 2.4 meters at the rear I've mentioned that the uh, material is exactly the same material as they use in the tents in the, and it's the tents are the ones I've mentioned are the Odyssey range and the colour, it's, um, it's a really good colour for blending in. Not so much with this grass, but uh, blending in a, in a more uh, wilder environment. Uh, and it's called Vineyard uh, Green. So guys, the, uh, the first use and test of the Robins wing tar has been an amazing success. Very lightweight tar very small pack size, comes complete and as you've seen it's stood up to the heavy rain and high winds. Even now with the blustery winds you can see that the tarp actually moving around but those little aluminium pegs are holding the thing nice and tight but for now absolutely bomb on, superb. I think I'm going to need it again tonight or this evening because the weather's not looking great. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. It always helps if you're a new viewer. Thanks a lot.